water cycle okay what is water cycle the continuous availability of water on our planet is because of water cycle and this water cycle is based on the simple phenomenon of interconversion of state of matter so basically water is going to change its states and it is going to be available from change from one form to the other form and ensure its continuous availability okay so water cycle is basically it is a physical process because there is no change in the chemical composition but there is only change in the physical state of water so what is happening in water cycle basically the water from the water bodies because of the heat of the sun the water from the water bodies is going to get evaporated to form water vapor there are other ways by which water vapor is added to the atmosphere okay so water vapor is added to the atmosphere one by evaporation of water from the water bodies number 2 it's because of burning of fossil fuels children burning of fossil fuels releases two gases one is water vapor and the other is carbon dioxide okay three is by breathing now the process of respiration which involves the breakdown of the food to liberate carbon dioxide and water vapor this water vapor is exhaled out by us and all the living organisms okay on this planet after respiration they give out water vapor okay so these are the processes okay by which water vapor can enter into the atmosphere okay and this water vapor which has entered into the atmosphere being lighter than air it rises when it rises into the upper layers of the atmosphere because of the cooler temperature it will condense and when it condenses to form water droplets all these water droplets are collected together to form the clouds and when these clouds are heavier enough okay it will the water will come down in the form of precipitation now by precipitation we mean it could be in the form of rain or it could be in the form of snow depending upon the temperature of the atmosphere in plains here we get it in the form of rain because of higher temperatures on hilly regions because of low temperatures the water which is falling down can freeze out to form snow okay so in the form of precipitation it is going to fall down when it when this water comes down as rain it may fill into the water it may flow on the surface as surface water it may fill in the water bodies and this water from the water bodies is again evaporated again it will enter into the atmosphere again it will condense and again it will come down as rain or this rain water will seep down through the pores okay through the por porous surface of the earth and form the underground water where from where it is taken up by the plants so the water which is taken up by the plants is again given out by transpiration which is the which is the fourth method by which okay transpiration is the fourth method by which water vapor is given out into the atmosphere is that clear so the plants which have taken by respiration and transpiration are giving out the water vapor so in this way continuously water is being cycled thus enabling continuous availability of water on our planet if this wouldn't have been children then the sustenance of life on our planet would have been very very difficult or in fact i would say it would have been impossible so it is because of water there is continuous availability of fresh water on our planet which we can use for consumption is that clear okay